Hey guys, it's your boy Titanium trying out a whole bunch of new career paths thanks to Hitman 2. Because I mean, Agent 47 makes every job fun, right? So let me tell you how you become a world-class tattoo artist. It's actually way easier than people think. Uh, you just wait till a world-famous tattoo artist is in a back alley, and then you choke him out, and then you put him in a dumpster, and then you take his clothes, thus assuming his identity. Word of warning, some people really don't like tattoos. Be mindful of that. Now, the first thing you have to remember being a tattoo artist is that confidence is everything. However, my first job didn't go quite the way I wanted it to. You see, I didn't realize that if you press too hard, yeah, the client is not going to be pleased. I probably don't have to tell you I had to find a new career after that. So I tried my hand at being a bodyguard. Let's see what he has to say. Becoming a bodyguard is actually pretty easy. You just steal a bodyguard uniform after you knock somebody out. You probably figured that much. One thing you gotta remember when you're a bodyguard is to not throw your client off the balcony of her estate into a pool of piranhas. Long story short, it was back to the one ads for me. So I thought maybe I'd go back to the simple life and become a gardener. How do you do that? Well, first you have to knock out a couple gardeners with bricks or tire irons, really whatever you have lying around. Then you're going to want to store them snugly in a very convenient chest. And voila, you're the gardener now. However, it was a pretty slippery slope from being a farmer to being a drug dealer, who's also a hippie. And, uh, well, I can tell you that didn't really work out as well as I was hoping either. This should paralyze the cartel. So I realized it was probably time to find work in a new city. After trying to be a tailor for a hot second, I realized my true passion was art. The problem with being an artist is that you need a rich benefactor to actually commission your paintings. Luckily, I found an egomaniac that was more than happy to let me paint ad nauseum. But then he got shot, which kind of prematurely ended my career. Back in the States, I briefly considered getting into politics, but I'm a hitman, not a monster. Give every one of those Washington-based desk jockeys so much work they simply won't have time to enforce the existing laws. So I was off to find myself a good blue-collar job. So I choked out the pest control guy and assumed his identity, Natch. But I ended up with a bit of a problem when I didn't know how this machine worked. So by this point, you probably know how well that went. And it was around this time that I realized I had eliminated most of my potential career paths. So I decided it was as good a time as any to follow my true, true passion. By joining a secret society so I had an excuse to burn burns. things for a living. I'll tell you, I finally found my true down. calling. Nice I even choked out one of the senior members so that I could steal his robes. And then I met this new friend who I held hostage so he would get on a boat with me. We had a nice long walk, chatted a bit, and before you know it, we were riding off into the early dawn. And that was the best summer of my life. Of course I'm qualified to be a barber. Have you seen my head? Okay, that one time it didn't go very well, but I'm sure the next one will. You have nothing to worry about. That body in the trunk was just the one-time thing. See? Perfect. You're welcome. Next. All right, we'll just do a little bit of edging there, and, uh, or we'll just shave the whole thing off. See? Good job. All right. Yeah, this is actually going surprisingly well for most of my careers. Nice. Beautiful. Ready for your oh game, boy, this is going to be the biggest challenge. All right, now just hold still. This won't take nearly as long as you think. Done. That was Told very you. refreshing. I feel like a new man. Yeah, you look like one too. 